King Solomon was wiser and richer than any other king on earth. He loved God and God blessed him, but Solomon wanted more. He had many wives from different nations, and before long, Solomon's wives were able to turn him away from God. Solomon began to worship the false gods that his wives worshiped. He built altars on a hill near Jerusalem to worship idols. Then, the people in Israel began to worship the false gods too. When this happened, God was angry. God said to Solomon, since you have done this, I will take the kingdom away from you and give it to your servant. You will be king the rest of your life, but when your son becomes king, he will lose everything except for one tribe. And that is exactly what happened. Solomon had a servant named Jeroboam. One day, a prophet named Ahijah met Jeroboam as he was coming down the road. Ahijah took off his coat and tore it into 12 pieces. Ahijah told Jeroboam, take 10 pieces for yourself. God is going to take the kingdom of Israel away from Solomon. He will let Solomon and his family keep a small part, but you will get the bigger part, 10 tribes. Ahijah said God was going to punish King David's descendants for their unfaithfulness, but their punishment would not last forever. When Solomon died, his son Rehoboam became king. The people did not want to serve a king like Rehoboam because he treated them so harshly. So they made Jeroboam king. The kingdom of Israel was now divided. Jeroboam ruled over the northern kingdom of Israel. Solomon's son only ruled over the southern kingdom of Judah. King Solomon's sin led to the division of the kingdom. God's people needed a better king. Through David's family, God would send his own son, Jesus, to be a perfect king over God's people forever. Jesus is greater than Solomon. Jesus brings his people together and leads them back to God.